All right. Well, welcome. Yeah, we're going to be doing a Dojo Talks Dojo update today because uh, we haven't seen each other in a while and haven't talked to uh, you guys in a little bit. Just kind of updating on like what we've been doing, maybe what we plan on doing in the near future um, and get everyone up to speed, including ourselves. <laughs> I feel like we should start with Jesse because you just had a tournament. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing this quest of trying to improve my own game. And so before, and you know, it's a weird thing, you guys, because <laughs> I'm so old and I've already got this GM title. What am I trying to do? But I enjoy playing. I, I like the idea of going to like senior championships and kind of just also I teach a lot and I don't want to be the guy who is teaching and then not playing, right? Or not doing playing. videos and then not playing. I don't, yeah. I've never, I, you know, I've done other things in my life, to, you know, in philosophy and all kinds of other stuff. And I never enjoyed the teacher that wasn't trying to improve themselves. It just felt icky to me. So anyways, I'm trying to improve. <laughs> even if it's a quixotic quest and um i've got a coach kgb the anonymous russian dude is giving me the secret sauce beautiful um i did some chessable work with the openings right before the tournament after i'd done analyzing my games as you guys know i'm all about analyzing the games as the path to improvement uh and i've been doing some fitness stuff and living clean honestly it's helped it's helped a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I played this tournament and I felt, I felt better. I wasn't like some stellar result, but I got a shared second place in a big tournament, which is all right. You know, three wins, two draws. I didn't feel like I was ever really in trouble. So as you guys know, I had had a crisis in my chest. <laughs> it had really collapsed there for a while, man. I had really fallen down. So it was nice just to have a solid result again. Um, and yeah, I want to kind of talk about that in like my road back to 2,500. Then I'm going to re I just rebooted that video is going to come out, I think tomorrow. Um, and I want to do when I do stuff on Twitch or the YouTube, I want to try to focus on like a lot of the stuff I'm doing. I'm also doing uh game review. We've started that back up. That's been really enjoyable. Also nice for me. I, I enjoy looking at other people's games and thinking about what's going on. So um, that's a lot of what I'm doing. Uh, we talked a little bit about maybe maybe I'll do some kind of chessable course that might require me to learn new technology, though, and I'm terrible at new technology. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see how that goes with that. But also at first, I'm just a little bit of a I want to be a user first with Chessable. So I've kind of been experimenting before the tournament. I did a lot of opening work that I was streaming here on the Twitch. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with the chess well, side of things. I feel yeah. like everyone wants to know, like, do you feel like you did enough Chessable and did it, do you feel like it helped? Um, I feel, you know, with all opening works that it's most work, it's mostly psychological. You like, there's a feeling like uh, kind of like the way, imagine when if you're like a tennis player and you get a new racket and you feel like that racket's going to help you because it costs a lot of money or something or because Sampras used the racket you know the opening it, it might give you a little bit of edge and it might give you a feeling of like okay I'm in control I'm master of my own domain for these first couple of moves but the, the tournament itself no it didn't it didn't really there was no instance where it really helped me uh but I'm happy to continue with the chessable. And I do think that I, I need to, I haven't done real opening work since I became a GM. And so I want to, I want to get just a solid repertoire down. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so, all right, David, what's been going on with you? I've been getting rusty while Jesse was getting fit. I was getting rusty. I haven't done much chess in the last two months. And, uh, you know, I made, I was making like this big effort in, uh, June to get unrusty. So it's kind of a shame, <laughs> kind of a shame to turn around and get completely rusty all over again immediately. Um, but yeah, I've done almost no chess the last two months. Um, and 
just just starting to get back into some streaming the last week or two, but it's been it's been teaching, not not like doing. I haven't done any David training just yet. Um so yeah, just it honestly it's been just about nothing and that's that's uh that's about to change. Well, how is Hawaii? Oh, Hawaii is uh is beautiful. Yeah. I swam with uh with some turtles. Uh, nice. figured out their grazing patterns. <laughs> so was your you experience get- good? Oh sorry, go ahead, Jesse. Well, I was going to just ask, did you get like any gumption to be like, I'm coming back and I'm going to become a GM? Did you get any of that feeling? No, the turtles didn't give me any messages. <laughs> <like that. laughs> the turtles told me you just float from one algae to the next and uh, the title doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. That's one yeah. way to look at it. Indeed. Cool. And David, what kind of shows and things are in terms of uh, the, the dojo are you looking forward to in the next little bit? <laughs> That's my way. <laughs> Excited to do next with the dojo is on, um, well, I think there are two things that are like highest up on my list mm-hmm. and that is Endgame Sensei and Ultimate Sensei. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I mean, I've been dying to show you the games that I played at the national open, Jesse, this whole time, I've just been like waiting yeah. for a chance to, to bring them to you and show them to you and see what, see what my sensei thinks of, of my efforts. Um, so that's like really like a priority for me. Um, and that's, you know, independent of this channel or whatever, like that's what I want to do for myself and, uh, for the channel, what I think we really need to do and what I'm excited to do next is the second season of ultimate sensei. Um, as we were just saying, I want to like, you know, I, I I really want to prioritize it. And I even want to, you know, beg chess.com and and other people to help us, you know, promote it and get more eyeballs on it. And I think that that is, uh, you know, one of our best offerings and something that will hopefully be seen and, and enjoyed by many. Yeah, I'm with you. I think ultimate sensei is great and it could be. Could be the best chess show after Queen's Gambit, I think, easily. <laughs> Could easily be number two. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm gonna try to focus on that too. And hopefully we can get working on the second season. Yeah. yeah. And um and uh yeah, I mean I'm also happy to uh relaunch Dojo Talks like we're doing right now. And, uh, yeah, recommit to, to some of the, uh, the regular events here. I'll be running a tournament on Monday this weekend instead of Sunday, but, but hopefully we'll get, you know, some regular, uh, commentary on, on viewer games going again, live. Um, does you were saying, you know, maybe think if there are any tweaks we can do to improve it, but. I think the first thing is just to get it going again, you know, cause when it was, when it was regular and we were doing commentary, I think it was enjoyed. So I'm just going to start it up for now the way it was. And then, you know, as new ideas trickle in for it, I'm happy to, to edit, tweak, incorporate, change, try and make, try and make it better or just try different things and see if any of them happens to be better. But yeah, if anybody goes into their uh, live chess and goes to tournaments, they'll see upcoming tournaments for Monday. I scheduled them. Uh, in advance so that they're up there and people can be ready. Cool. Cool. And Costa, tell us of your quest, buddy. I want to know about, I want to know about when Costa could make this GM title, man. That's what I want to know. That's what the panel wants to know. That's a good question. Well, I'll be playing in Vegas in two weeks uh, or under two weeks now, I think one and a half weeks. Um, Before that, I'm going to St. Louis. I'm actually traveling there on uh, Monday. Uh So I'm going to be helping them cover the Champion Showdown Chess 960 event. Woo! Yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm actually very excited because Gary is going to be playing. And I've never seen him play in person. So that'll be cool. Yeah. 
Um, nice. But that's going to be more of a work thing. And I've been going yeah. there a lot lately. And every time I go there, I try to like work on chess outside of that. So I'll like work a little bit in the mornings or at nights. Because, um, yeah, I feel like I have to warm up for my tournament <laughs> like one and a half weeks. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be really tough. Vegas was already very tough. Now I'm coming back to Vegas playing again. And uh, yeah, we'll see. It's going to be like a shorter time control, 90 plus 30, which I actually like. I like that there's going to be more time to rest between games. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to train a little bit for that. I've also been doing a little bit of chessable and a little bit of opening work in, in chess space. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I have to do a lot more these uh these next one and a half weeks i don't think i am gm strength right now i feel like i have a lot of a lot of room to grow every time i play a tournament it just reveals how how little i know about the game and how much more there is to work on is there any focus to what you're working on or are you trying to work on everything at once i'm mainly just trying to get my openings in check i feel like at this point I'm always like kind of suffering out of the opening, like not really knowing what to do. So I'm trying to like get a better, better understanding of my positions. So I'm kind of feeling more comfortable. So everybody, I stalked Kostya on Chessable and he's being modest. The man has some points. The man has some Chessable <laughs> points. <laughs> and I'm competitive. I looked at his points and I was like, it kind of, it kind of got me. Cause I don't think I could have gotten that many points. I don't think it was possible. You know, it was like, wow. I was looking up a steep cliff. Wow. Of his points. That's what it felt like. Um, so that's cool. And I'm looking here at this Las Vegas open. That would be something if they streamed your games, dude, I would love to watch that and cover those games here. That would be fun. I don't know if they're going to do it, but, um, yeah, yeah that's awesome. That. Yeah, that'll that'll be fun, man. You yeah. should request that, Kostya. Yeah, we'll, we'll, it'll give their old tournament exposure. Yeah, maybe I'll ask them for a, a DGT board. Apparently, you can just do that now. You can just give a DGT to anyone. Yeah, <laughs> I'll cover the game. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I mean, I'm st I still feel super rusty after the pandemic. I just feel like I used to play like I don't know eight to ten tournaments a year. And now it's like one, <laughs> one, yeah, one uh -huh. year. So um, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping to do well. And I plan to be streaming a bunch too. We were just talking about plans and stuff. And yeah, it'd be great to do more of these like team arenas, team events. Um, be nice to do more rapid events as well. So I'm going to try to figure out how to like kind of organize that so that people play for the dojo more often i think that'd be cool agreed yeah so okay we're kind of bouncing around a little bit but i think i think we have <laughs> what have you been doing that's kind of what's that's my what am i doing next yeah mm -hmm. um so yeah, I'll be going to St. Louis and then going to Vegas. Then I'll be home for a little while and then probably back to St. Louis for U.S. championships. So I'll be covering that as well. Um, but when I cover these things, I mean, I'm mainly just doing their social media and writing like daily recaps. Not like I'll be doing um, commentary. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I should add for myself in terms of next, I think there's a there's a tournament in like DC end of October. And then what I'm more excited about, I don't know if I can do it yet, is there's a tournament over Thanksgiving weekend. It would be a serious thing in Charlotte at this Charlotte Chess Club that I haven't been to yet. So um that's kind of something I'm interested in doing too. Um and then you know, beyond that, I'm hoping things loosen up and then I can go and I think it'd be really fun, like. If we could do, maybe we can go as a, a group too. We'll go to like one of those Iceland tournaments, one of some European event, man, we we'll go as a dojo, something like that. Obviously it's not going to happen in the next couple months, but like on the distant horizon, that's kind of what I'm looking to do, you know, to play some nicer events. Yeah, I'd totally be down for that if we could do that. 
Yeah. And we have a lot of European fans, so people I'm sure would would show up. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you going to Charlotte for the U.S. Masters or a different event? I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, I think cool. That's what it's called. But yeah, that's but I haven't really I haven't strong. I haven't uh, confirmed that yet. So but but that's kind of like what I'm I'm looking to do. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. And so David, got, is there? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, then in the chat, we're next year, U.S. seniors. That's the goal, but I think my rating isn't there yet. So I have to, I either have to qualify or I have to get my rating back to where it was in order to play that event. But yeah, that's the other thing on the distant horizon. Wow. Do you have a specific deadline for that? Um, I don't actually, I need to find, the, I need the finer details of that. And it, the problem is like the qualification tournaments for this year, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not 50 yet, so I don't qualify for the qualifying tournaments. Bummer. <laughs> you know, I think that for next year, it's going to be hard for me, honestly, to get into it. Hmm. Yeah. Do they have wild cards? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a wild card. Maybe I'll get a wild card. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. My next tournament is not planned, but I generally do plan to play one more tournament in 2021. So my kids need to go back to school and then I'll look at the calendar <laughs> and see what I can figure out. So your kids aren't, aren't in school right now? Not yet. No, we just came back from Hawaii. Their school is open, but we're on quarantine because oh, we were on a plane. Right. That makes sense. But yeah, they might be in school next week. Hmm. Yeah, maybe Vegas at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. North American Open. Mm-hmm. That could be good. I think I'll play that one. At least that's the plan right now. Because it's just so mm-hmm. close and easy to travel to. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if I can avoid Hawaii, I could join you. <laughs> I mean, Hawaii's great. I don't know. <laughs> Hawaii is a good place to be. Yeah. Um, okay. Next topic. What have you been watching? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of stuff. I was watching uh, the Sinkfield Cup, mm-hmm. and then I was watching a little bit of the Aim Chess uh, Rapid Online event. Um, right. That one was really interesting. I was watching the World Cup. It, we, we haven't talked in a while. <laughs> a lot of events. Yeah. I've been trying to follow the big chess events. I find them, well, some of them I have to follow, like the Sinkfield Cup I was working. So I was watching that one really closely. And yeah, a lot of really interesting games there. Um, yeah. But there was also a big thing of um, uh, there was also Pog Champs, sorry, that I was watching recently. Um, and that was really cool. Oh, to see. had you ever watched it before? I didn't really watch it last time other than like the really big clips that were shared. This is the first time I was actually like following. You watched like a show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, and how was it? That was a lot of fun. I don't know. (laughs) Really, I really liked it. Uh, It's just, you know, they get some fun streamers and Uh then, you know, they'll like watch their stream while they're playing the game. And it's like, it's so funny just to compare that to like, if you would imagine you were just inside Carlson's room while he's playing, like it'd probably be pretty boring, like pretty silent. <laughs> like, but inside, you know, the streamers are always like talking, like playing music. They're playing like these huge games, and they're like, you know, they don't know what's happening. I mean, it's just it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, so I totally, I totally got it. Okay, more or less fun than Sinkfield Cup. You enjoyed both. Which one did you enjoy more? I mean, definitely more fun. To me, it's like two different brains. Like when I'm watching Singfield Cup, I'm like, I'm in chess improver mode and I'm trying mm-hmm. to like figure out what the players are thinking and, you know, maybe I'll analyze the position. Mm-hmm. When I'm watching Pog Champs, I mean, it's just like, it's just entertaining. It's just like fun. Okay. Just watching, basically just watching like celebrities try chess, which I always liked it with poker. <laughs> with chess, like, I don't know. Never really got into it. Cool. Yeah, I'll say for myself, I, 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 as things to watch, 
I'm really only into the big events. And I'll cover those here. Like I want <laughs> Ghostus Tournament. <laughs> That's a big one coming <laughs> <The> up. Big. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, that was that would be I loved it when Ghosty did the last one. Um, and then so like that one, and then I, I did World Cup. I was there every morning. That was amazing. I was just looking mostly at uh Magnus's games. I wasn't looking at anybody else. Mm-hmm. And then uh then world championship coming up, and then after that the candidates. Those are like the big ones. I don't, I, the other ones are fun. No, but those are the big ones. Those are the ones I'm, I'm looking for. Um, and then, and then I'm interested in reading books. I like reading chess books. I just started this book. Uh, uh, I finally got the best move by Janssen Hort ancient book. It's, it's tight, man. It's a good book. And no one knew about it back in the day because it was like an Eastern European book and we could, no one had access to it. So now I'm finally, discovering this amazing book nice best move by foss Emil hort 230 test positions yeah okay yeah i've been trying to read a bit when i have time it's great i've been going through shanklin's book his uh mm-hmm. his first one and that's been awesome mm-hmm. And um, I have like a bunch of books from New and Chess that I'm supposed to review. So I've been going through those as well, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> which is great. You know, yeah. you know that that Shanklin book is like aimed at like 16 to 1800 ish. Right. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> he like chooses good positions, like modern players, modern games. Uh huh. I don't know. They're pretty instructive to me. So. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just having fun. I was I was aware of some of the the rules and principles in in the book, but mm-hmm. yeah, no, I think the the examples and the analysis is uh, really good. So, just felt like I was missing oh, out. Cool. That's all. <laughs> yeah, but I really want to read this new Marcos book with David Navarra, the Secret mm-hmm. Ingredient. I think it's called. It sounds really good. Okay, man, that's fun. But I, I got to get my to hands have the on time it. to read a chess book. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I what I've been doing is actually I start my mornings with that before, you know, my my brain fully wakes up because it's too early to like do videos or stream or anything. But I just try to like make some moves on a chessboard and read a little bit of book and yeah, very enjoyable habit. Nice, highly recommend. Has Sam's third book come out yet? I don't think so. Okay, well, you'll want to read that when it comes out. <laughs> I think it's a little ways away. Um, was it somebody who has the time to read chess books? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll answer this question last. What I've been watching was the Sinkfield Cup. And I looked at like two or three games from the AIM chess tournament. I'd kind of gotten uninterested in those Magnus tour events, they have the same format for every single one, right? Like I preliminary with 16 people and then these like knockout matches where it's like two matches. And if they tie, they play a blitz thing or whatever. I don't know. They invented some kind of format for it, which is a little bit different. I, I watched a little bit at the beginning of the year and it just never grabbed me that much. So I'd missed a few events in a row of that. Um, and then I looked at like two or three games from this past one because uh, Danya was playing in it. So I checked out like a few of his games and uh, yeah, it, it, even with somebody I know playing in it, it still didn't speak to me that much. So I really found the Sinkfield cup much more interesting, you know, and uh, the Sinkfield cup, even like the games between people where I didn't have like somebody I'm like rooting for, or, like cheering or following it was still great games. I mean, I really, really loved that. So, yeah, I that's what like I enjoy. There, um, there was a good mix of players in the Singfield Cup in terms of like level. So there was like some really elite super gems, and then some like quote unquote normal super gems. <laughs> right. And so it made for some very like fighting games. Some of them were probably replacements because of like travel issues, right? Yeah, like, I think a few of them were. Yeah. They had planned to have like, you know, a 2780 field. And then they're like, oops, we'll let like three people in who are only 2700. Yeah. Um, but honestly, 
to me, it made the tournament more interesting or exciting. Cause like every now and then somebody just got clubbed. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, I liked it. I don't know if, if Jesse's going to call me, uh, somebody without any chess class for being happier to see like a 2700 play than a 2780. But somehow that, that mix to me, it was, it was fresher and it was exciting to see, you know, to see like, you know, Sean and, and Schwartz, like, you know, try and take their shot against, you know, Fabi or Wesley and get smacked down. I, I thought it was really cool to see. Although in the case of, uh, Sean, actually he got like a huge upset against Fabi. So T- to me, that was really exciting. Yeah, I like that. So have you been following anything, Jesse? Uh, like I said, I've, I've just, I've, I've decided like I have a chess diet and there's certain tournaments. And then when those tournaments happen, I give everything to it, you know? Mm-hmm. And so that's, yeah, that's where I'm at. I want to follow like a couple big events a year in the same way. I have a couple tournaments I get to play personally a year. Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Otherwise, it's too much. There's too much. There's too much going on. I need to focus. I need to focus on what I'm, you know, a fan of. And I love, I, you know, kind of like the same thing when we're doing our shows, even with uh, whether it's the chess, you know, chess dojo bros or the pastors, I need something to be at stake. You know, it's not just some tournament. I need somebody to be qualifying for something or somebody, you know, fighting for something. Yeah. Right. So next up for Jesse is Costia in Vegas. That's, That's right. The next one he's going to be watching. One. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do my best. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to beat grandmasters, you know, they're just like so solid and man, but I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah. You got those chessable skills, son. You're going to be able to do it. That's right. Yeah. So, and you can start out by just trying to, you know, play good moves and sort of like, you know, draw a bunch of grandmasters till they get frustrated and give you a chance to win. Yeah. Hedgehog strategy. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. And, um, Oh, I don't know if we sort of did this all sort of out of order a little bit, but like what aspect of your chess are you working on? I guess Kosti already told us. Yeah, I, I would say, mainly on openings um but i've also been trying to like analyze my games from previous tournaments just trying to figure out like what i can actually improve and what i should focus on um but yeah mainly just yeah trying to understand some of the positions that i'm getting a little bit a little bit better yeah i'll summarize myself like i got i got this soviet coach And he's kind of giving me some direction, which is interesting for me. I haven't really had a coach, not not a serious coach ever in my life. And then I continue to look at my games, but I'm also like showing the coach, like my analysis and what's going on, that kind of thing. And a big question for me is like, will Chessable improve my openings a little bit? I don't think it's going to change my results that much, but it's just kind of, that's kind of interesting. And also, is it possible for me as an older dude to improve the calculation? I don't know, but I'm going to try. And I kind of enjoy puzzles anyway, whether they're middle game puzzles or end game studies, something I've always enjoyed. So that's kind of my, my basic thing that I'm doing. And I have to play regularly, like Kosti was saying, like, this whole pandemic thing, like when you don't play forever, you do like lose it a little bit, you know? And so I'm going to try to keep playing a tournament, you know, once at least every couple months. And it's difficult now because like, you know, this tournament I just played in, it was playing with mass. It was very unpleasant, you know, and I, (laughs) and I think other people are finding it unpleasant too. The tournament organizers are a little bit hedging. Like, am I going to do an event or not? Am I going to wait it out? So that's also kind of a, a thing that's, a question mark for I think everybody. Yeah. And how about you, David? Are you working on your chest at all? Um, I haven't been, but I have a plan. So uh, what I'm going to start working on is going to be calculation exercises with like a clock on them. Just like put a lot of pressure on myself to try and go faster. Um just do a lot of calculation exercises 
And then I just need to create times and places for myself to play. And so those are the two main things I need to do. And I imagine that I'm going to be doing a third thing because it's going to be hard for me to arrange classical games. They take time. I can't get away from my kids that much. So that's, that's going to be like the hardest thing to do. And in the absence of that, when I just have some time, I, I can also continue reading this end game book, doing end game sensei and analyzing my games. So it's a few things to do. Um, and, uh, you know, playing over my games, I've done a few of them already and, uh, I've got a few left and then, uh, the end game books are just always available. So that's, that's what I'll default to when I don't have a ton of energy or time to like plan something big. If I just have like half an hour, an hour, I'll probably just like keep plotting through some end games. Cool. And one thing actually goes to that you've kind of pushed and I, I'm, I might be getting my head around is like, the idea that you should focus on one thing at a time. So for example, I was doing the chessable right before the tournament and chessable wants me to do it every day. John Bartholomew was sending me an email, dude, like <laughs> you better get on it. But I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to just wait until I'm going to like cram for each tournament. Like, and I'm not going to do openings all the time. It's just going to be like this little segment of my brain that I'm going to coast the eyes when I'm ready for it, man. <laughs> I'm not going to do it all the time, but I'm going to do other things like the calculation now and the game. I have to do the game review. You know, I have to finish that always before I move on to anything else. But I like that idea of focusing in on something at one time. Yeah. Like if you just play like every one or two months or so, and then when you're far away from a tournament, you work on your like hardcore calculation skills or just trying to like deepen your understanding and then leading up to a tournament kind of drill your openings a little bit more. It kind of makes sense to me because you have that solid base and you, then you can just kind of um, add on to it leading up to a tournament. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, that was great, you guys. Uh, let's do it. We're going to do this again soon. And if you guys want us to cover anything in particular, you can uh, write to us either on Twitter or wherever, Discord, and tell us what you want us to cover. And um, yeah, we got all kinds of things coming up soon. Lots of different shows. I just, like I said, I rebooted the Road Back to 2500. We're doing these dojo lessons that are kind of cool and interesting. That's coming out on our YouTube. So, uh, and we might even do some kind of chessable course. We don't even know. We're talking <laughs> about it. We might do that too. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll do the next episode of Dojo Talks next week, right? That's we promise. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll have time. We'll have to find time, but I'll have time. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. So um, let us know what topic you want us to cover next week. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're always, yeah, we're always open to suggestions. I think, I think we are. <laughs> we I think we're often just like too busy to do a ton of stuff, but we're always open to hearing what people are interested in and then doing our best. Um, <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Big promise. <laughs> Big promise. All right, guys. Well, then I guess we'll uh, wrap it up here. Hopefully yeah. everyone enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. All right. Cool. All right, everybody. Thanks again. Bye-bye.